Hi everybody, welcome back to uh, us up here on a glorious day up here at the storage yard and uh, I'm joined here with my beautiful assistant who is behind the camera and uh, my wife. <laughs> um, we're up here today and we're going to talk to you about towing covers. Um, I get asked a lot what's the benefit of having a towing cover, what's our personal experience of it and, uh, and also I'll just show you very quickly us putting the towing cover on today. Now, uh, in terms of why we purchased a towing cover, it really boils back to probably the second time we went out. Yeah. The Tom and I had spent a long time cleaning the caravan and uh, we took it out uh, in uh, the depths of winter. In fact, it was Christmas and we went down to Longleat and uh, we went down the roads and it was all fine, no problems at all. We got down to the last bit, the country lane, just before we arrived on site and the car managed to kick up all manner of muck and dirt and filth and uh, covered the front of the caravan quite nicely. So you then uh, had to clean it all off. And then I had to clean it all off because I don't know about you, but I do like to look out my windows in the caravan when we're sat inside. And looking out at uh, a spray of mud across the windows, well, <laughs> that doesn't do it for me. No. So I said there and then, I'm going to get a towing cover. And, uh, and we did. We purchased a towing cover. I did a lot of research, yeah. uh, looked around different companies, and we ended up going for a specialised cover, Tow Pro. Um, which is a tailored cover. It's the cheapest tailored cover you can buy from their range. Uh, we bought it, uh, we waited for it to be made up for us, and uh, we fitted it on. It takes us about a minute to put on, and uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, when we put it on and used it for the first time, it was quite ironic, actually, because we were travelling up to Wales. Yes. We were on our way to holiday up to Wales, and something came flying down the motorway, hit the car and hit the caravan, uh, some debris. And I am absolutely convinced that if we had not had that uh, towing cover on our caravan... There would have been a lot of damage. Yeah, there would, it would have gone through a window. Yeah. Absolutely. It was just right that the investment we made in the towing cover probably did save us a massive fortune. Now our cover is now three years old, um, it looks a bit ropey, it looks a bit manky, it still works absolutely fine. And what we're going to do in a minute is we're going to put it on to show you how quickly it goes on and then I'm going to share with you some hints and tips on how we look after it and we, how we make sure it's in good working order whenever we go out with it. Right? Okay. Let's go and put it on. Inside is our strap which clips onto the caravan and secures the tow cover in place. And then also you have the tow cover itself. And for safety, don't put it on the floor. <laughs> so first job is to put this around the A-frame. To you. To me. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. So what we do is we usually tie this onto the A-frame exactly as Andrew's doing right now. And uh, in actual fact, we leave it in situ for the entire duration of our stay uh, because it doesn't need to come off. It's literally there for when we're on the road. Um, so we leave it in situ whilst we're on site and then we take it off when we come home. As Angela pointed out, this is the cover and uh, this particular cover, the Tow Pro, has only got one zip. And what we do is we feed one half of it into the caravan, wrap it around the front and then undo the zip on the other side and then feed it in on the other side of the caravan. So the first thing we need to do is just unfold it and as Angela said, we make sure we don't put it on the floor uh, at all. If it does need to be touching the floor, make sure the outside surface uh, touches the floor um, because obviously when you're feeding it through the channel there will be a bit of um, dangling on the, on the ground etc. But make sure it's the outside because we don't want to get any particles or any grit or any nastiness on the inside of the cover. So what we're going to do now is unfold it feed it in the channel. Alright, that's the bottom. That's the zip side. That's the so zip side. Okay. Take that one. Alright. Yeah. So this is the one and only zip here which Andrew's going to undo and that leaves us with this channel here which goes in this channel here, this awning rail channel on this side of the caravan and then all we do is we feed it back up and then zip it back up and that's the cover then in place. Mm 
right. Mm -hmm. Right, that's it, secure. Now what we've got to do is just clip in the bottoms and uh, that is it. The uh, towing cover is installed. Uh, there we go, that's it, that's the installation of the cover. It takes us no time at all to do this, does it? That's right. Um, so a couple of points really, because we, we've owned this now for three years, um, a couple of points that we have picked up over the years, some handy tips as well. So when you arrive on site, it will be mucky. Um, if it's wet, it'll be wet. Um, so just unpeel it gently and what we usually do is fold it up inside to inside so that you don't fold it with the inside exposed mm. and we usually store it in the car yeah. until such time as it's dry and then what I do for drying it out um, I drape it across the bonnet and the windscreen in fact I don't know if you can see but in the top there on this cover we've got a couple of clips uh, just to make some tension up on the actual cover um, and what I do is I, I literally clip those to the, um, the uh, rails on the car and it just holds it in place. And I then also put the uh, windscreen wipers over it as well, just to make sure it just doesn't flap about and move around at all. Yeah. It dries out in no time. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Um, and then what I do is I then just come up with a uh, brush, brush it off, get all the road dirt off of it, get all the muck, um, and, it's abs and then it's good for going again. Mm. When we come home, generally what I do is I bring it home and we vacuum it. Mm. Um, make sure it's obviously nice and dry. I vacuum the outside, I vacuum the inside, um, and I find that it just gets rid of all of that little grit and that little nastiness that you may pick up over the, the time that you're driving down the road. Um, and I find that works really well. And we've done that for three years. No, yeah. no problems at all. Now some people will say don't bother with a towing cover because it scratches the front of your van. How many scratches have we got on the front of our van? None. <laughs> right, there we are. So that's three it years. It protects the caravan. Yeah. So it's been on there for three years. Um, I did a calculation the other day. We've done 15,000 miles with that cover on um, and uh, it has not scratched the front of the caravan mm. at all. The important thing is though, it's all to do with how you look after things. If you don't keep it clean, if you don't keep the front of your caravan clean, mm. uh, you, yeah, you might end up with a scratch or two, but we don't because um, we keep everything really nice and clean. Yeah. Um, and finally, there's no better feeling that when you turn up on site uh, and you unpeel the front of your caravan and it's spotless. Yes. You don't need to clean the windows and uh, you just literally fold it up, put it away and it's, it's job done. Yeah. Um, so the product we got is the Specialized Cover Toe Pro. This one is tailored for the front of our caravan um, and you can obviously buy the Elite version, I think as well, which is a padded version, I mm. think. Um, there's more versions available. Um, but we're really happy as customers. This is our, you know, genuine review of it. The only down thing I would say is that once you put the towing cover on, you can't, sorry, you can't get access to the front locker. So you've got to be a bit prepared and a bit organised. So that's it from us today. You can come back in now. <laughs> so anyway, so that's it from us today. I hope that's been of use to you. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care now. Bye. Bye.